you're doing well. I've got a 15 minute session that I'm doing for a client. I'm gonna read the goals here and get tuned in. All right, any information about my feet, past life, energetic frequencies, issues surrounding? Okay, this is, there's divine time here because I've been really doing work on my root chakra. I've been really exploring ways to get more grounded. And now I get to do this session with you about your feet. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to relax, get tuned in here. The frequency is really, it's like it's trying to hide something. It's very dense. And when it's dense, I have to listen really hard because I'm having to hear all the frequency patterns that echo back to me as I'm sending signals out. What's going on with these feet? These feet feel good? These feel not fe feet not feel good? <laughs> I'm saying all these questions out like really rapidly and waiting for echoes to come back to help me understand. And they're getting kind of caught or stuck in this dense energy and it just does not want to talk about it. doesn't want to reveal it. And it's like you're standing on something. Maybe it's a soapbox, but it's kind of degraded and it's actually bothering your feet. Really, really bothering your feet. It seems to be a type of cement but the cement is rotting away like wood and it's stagnant water and there's kind of like guppies, a weird fish kind of around it, like it's weird fish. <laughs> I don't know if guppies are that weird, but it, it's like may not be fish that we've ever seen before. They're really small. They seem to be um, attracted to stagnant energy. Tadpoles are attracted to stagnant pools of water, right? We love tadpoles. <laughs> These have more of a parasitic, disappointing energy to them, like gross, I want nothing to do with you, get away from me. That's kind of what it's like. But this stagnant water, so here's your toes, and it's just right above your toes, and you can't seem to get off of this. And it does have a soapbox kind of vibe to it. But you're also storing things that you don't want to look at beneath your feet as well. You are, your heart is open to awareness. Your heart is open to growth. You want to know what this is about. You want to see. And there's a lot of energy in your heart connected to what this is about with your feet. And it's still like you don't want to see. You don't want to know. It's still kind of like encouraging you to just keep it beneath the feet. This is loud enough. This has to have been really affecting you even pulling your heart down and it's starting to, I'm noticing energies kind of swirling around the head, but really kind of accumulated in the back of the head. Man, it's kind of like an ache in my heart and it sinks into my stomach like a heartburn. Ugh. Good news is all this movement is because we're choosing to take a look at it. And I tell you all the different parts of you, I say that just simply choosing to look, that's all we need to do to make changes. And when you're ready to kind of open up to more of why it's like this and what is really being hidden under here, and just continue to be open to that rising up to the surface, coming out of the woodwork. All right, 
now I'm seeing a scene where your feet are shackled and you're being pulled underwater and your hands are tied behind your back. And you, you seem young, like a young girl. And you're fighting, like you're fighting, you're moving your body, you're wiggling your body, trying to get yourself free. You also seem to be blindfolded. And you have this feeling in your heart like you're never going to get away with this. So you could say that you're kind of a, a strong-willed woman in this scene. Younger though. Like very spirited. Very taking a stand. And you're just snuffed out like you never existed. <laughs> That's how quickly this was decided. And it's it's ridiculous. It was ridiculously easy. <laughs> it was just like blowing out one single birthday candle. <sighs> I can hear the laughter of the men at how absurd. How easy it was. You see what happens? You should have kept your mouth shut. Now look where you're at. You know, and but you still feel strong about what you believe in and you're going to carry this into the next life kind of thing. I will find you. <laughs> it's just such a joke. It's just such a laugh. I mean, they just keep like I can hear them just laughing at what a joke you are. <sighs> How easy this was. Like, I feel like I'm supposed to laugh now, too. Like, like, oh, what a joke. Like, how easy. This <laughs> oh, she really made a difference. <laughs> you know? It's kind of what the energy is here on, like, the, on, like, a ship above. And then there you are alone going down to the depths of your, the end of you. Like, you never existed. And you didn't. So in that life, you made literally no real impact. I mean, they really emphasized that you didn't exist. You had a strong spirit. You had a strong will. But you were very quickly, get rid of that now. And you, you never really had a chance at all to make a difference. And you were snuffed out immediately. And you really never did exist. That's how big of an impact your you made was nothing. They keep really wanting to jab you with this. You made no impact. You accomplished nothing. <laughs> just just let it be, okay? Just it has to be spoken in this way to reach the parts of you that need to hear it like this. <sighs> You're still kind of like a a pocket of fire at the bottom of the ocean. You're still trying to set yourself free. It's like dying but never having died. Still carrying the same flame within your heart um, that these people will pay, that you will make a scene. You will stand up for what is right and what is wrong. Like, and it's just still caught on the shackles at the bottom of the ocean, but you're like a little fire down there. But it's a fight with yourself as well. It's almost, what is the point of even having breath? What is the point of even speaking? It makes absolutely no difference. This is circulating back to you. That your efforts made absolutely no difference. That is what circulates back. That's the first time it circulated back. Because you've been saying, I will get set myself free. I will get you. I will make a difference. Even after you've died, you're still down there with this passion and ambition. It's just stuck in all of time. But now us taking a look at it, um, it's circulating back. This, and it has to be said like this, that you didn't make a difference. That nothing that you did accomplished anything but your own death. And you feel like, 
Like, you felt like the world was with you. The angels were by your side. You felt like you had a place to speak. And so it's almost like a letdown because you trusted in the universe. You believed. And where did it get you? Man, this is this is like rotting flesh on my feet. It feels like rotting flesh on my feet and my feet being eaten alive by insects. And like, I know we're underwater, but it's like insect like v feeling to it. Gross, um, like fish that eat zombie flesh or something. Like there's something parasitic and disgusting about it. And there's an angel that comes to you and says, let it go. Come with me so we can take a look at this life together. And we can learn what is meant to be learned from this life. And one thing that is being spoken without words is that this life was perfect. So you're in an internal battle with just simply accepting that you did what you did and it had an outcome and that's fine. And that shouldn't ever inspire you to not speak up or to stop believing in the angels. But it is kind of inspiring you to neutralize the fire in your heart and ask yourself, was that the wisest approach, the wisest step? This is creating quite a headache type feeling in the third eye mind, even affecting the crown, which is very good because we're seeing with the new pair of eyes. So it's affecting our, it's like an awakening type thing with your energies. Your feet are feeling better. Just simply talking about it without labeling it or judging it as good or bad or right and wrong there's it just is what it is okay and loving yourself for choosing to have this lifetime and this experience and for it to be exactly what it was loving yourself again it is like a soapbox um it still looks kind of like a cement that's rotted out like wood um, but the water is changing. The wood, the cement is changing. You're kind of, um, now I'm able to see more than just your feet and you're kind of a young girl, um, still kind of shackled. It's almost like you're a statue, a symbolic statue of justice in a way. And, um... You ha you're blindfolded, and instead of the, the scales of balance, your shackled hands are behind your back. And your feet are rotten. Standing on a rotten soapbox. It's like a statue. It's a symbol of justice. But it obviously it looks like injustice, right? And because it looks like injustice, it is teaching us about what is true justice. Because is that working through problems or is that getting rid of a problem? That's, we need to work through our problems, not just get rid of them. And so you are a symbol, a symbol of that message. You are a symbol of, um, you represent, you, your energy represents Someone who is standing firm and let's work through our problems. Getting rid of our problems doesn't actually get rid of them. It just keeps them lingering. And I'm still here. And I'm going to stand firm in what I believe in. We need to work through our problems. At this time, you were speaking out. Uh, I don't know if some kind of injustice happened to your family and you were saying no. No, this is wrong this isn't right you have it all wrong and they just took you and got rid of you 
And then it just stayed the same and everybody moved on with their life. Like never, nothing ever happened kind of thing. But you did speak out. And everything you did was right. And it was following your heart. And just because it was just a really quick turnaround that had no impact, it did. And look at what it has taught you. Look at how it has changed you. Um, and they don't like the word change. It's just inspired a spark of, of a meaning that is important that the world needs the meaning that you have to share. Okay? It's really beautiful. It's bringing peace to your feet. A lot of peace. It's still a bit rotten and gross, but it is, dis I mean, even looking at it now, it's continuing to shift. It's continuing to um, circulate. And you have new questions you're asking yourself about how your, your approach to society and people in society. Um, your approach, how you're choosing to express yourself. Um, the meaning and the value of you. These are the types of echoes I feel in your energy field, things that you're exploring right now. And you needed to see what was beneath your feet in order to um, bring more clarity to those feelings. And it's also about self-love, self-love. Yeah, you feel a lot better. Even now, it's it's all changing. Like there's your feet are exploring a new stance, new stance in life, and it just feels really clean beneath your feet, and your toes and feet feel clean themselves as well. All right, that's what I have. That was really, really something. What a neat and interesting session. Thank you so much. Hmm. All right. And uh, for those of you watching, if any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Have a great day, everybody.